Look at them all. Yeah, isn't that amazing? That is. There we wow. go. So there were places on the seamount, when we have done really careful transects up the slope where it's less outcrops, more sediments, and we see an average of 90 fish per square meter. Wow. And the maximum being 220 in a square meter. Oh my gosh. This is interesting because it doesn't seem like the sediment is very thick here because no. it's on top of the sulfur. Exactly. There's so not there's much this point. Sediment. There, there are no polychaetes so, in so this why sediment. why are they here, the, well, the sulfur? Well, this comes back to right. potential food sources being bacteria. And the way to get to that is through isotopic analyses. Yeah. Could we get a zoom in here just to see? I don't know anywhere in the world that you get ex except at the <laughs> fishmonger where you would get <laughs> such high density like this. Whoa, that was a gill yeah. open there, wasn't it? As if they're flushing. So he, they probably can flush through their mouth if they take a mouthful uh, of something, then they yeah. can flush it out through the gills. Uh -huh. I can only think that they're just taking a mouthful and the stomach is digesting whatever organic matter is in there, but to feed this population. And, and why are they like shifting all the time? Well, maybe, you know, somebody's taken that mouth. I don't know. You see the yeah, variation, yeah. the coloring too, in the top right there, that one yes. looks almost darker yes. with spots. And they will, they can change the pigmentation oh, yeah. against the background, uh -huh. which is classic in flat fish right. for camouflage. camouflage yeah. You put a black, cla you can put them on a checkerboard background mm -hmm. and they slowly shift to become checkerboard. Huh. Wow. Ooh. Oh, what's that guy doing? Oh. Stomping. And so this pattern they have right now, is that for the sediment, you think, for I, camouflage? I, or? I don't know. I can't, I, I'm not completely sure about this species and how reactive it is. It just seem, it does seem like that's the basic pattern. That's a cool fish. Yeah. What's he got in it? Does oh, he have something in his mouth? Parasite on there. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. Is it or are those like oh, maybe barbacles? Oh, might oh. be. Yeah. Might uh, be. Oh, there's one on each oh, side. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Are those like, like little whiskers? What? They're little. Yeah. Oh my the god. The chinny chin chin hairs. So it, it might be because it's going along the sediment, yeah. rubbing them along the sediment. He's so. sensing. Remote sensing. Yes. Okay. Really pretty scales. Yeah, yeah, he's very, he's like green. It's like, right, see yeah. that now? Yeah. Or are you going to... Oh, he's off. <laughs> yeah. They're off. That oh, there's so lots cool. of tube worms over there. You see, there's like those... I'll do on. my best. That's... Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Good yeah. spot, Aaron. That's a huge bush. Oh, yeah, look, there's so oh. many of them. Oh, yeah, they're huge. I wonder how old these are. These are Yeah, these massive. are amazing. Yeah. We didn't see anything like this. No. So is it common for organisms like these anemones okay. to kind of live in these two worm bushes? Do you want more zoom? Or yes. More? Uh, well, yes, more zoom, Often please. things are looking for substrate, something to grow on. And so, at, especially at hydrothermal vents, there's often animals growing on other animals just because there's limited real estate around the vents. And the rest of the ground here is sediment. So it's the worst. The anemones, you know, need something solid to grow on. So that's why they're... <laughs> the two worms won't fit the bill. That's all I got. Thank you, Aaron. It's Did beautiful. You, oh, there's a little so crack. what we've been looking for oh, is a little one just retracted. Whether there was anything else living in the bushes other than the anemones, and we couldn't see it because usually <clears throat> these bushes have a a high diversity within them. <laughs> We're not seeing that. So it's really at this point is the anemone. Um, that we're after, and it may be easier to just look outside this bush on something, either a rock or a, a lone tube worm. Are there are there any of these little bundles here on the on the right that? Yeah, even, or even those loners that are way off to the right. Should I grab towards the base or towards the end? Would that be better? The base, like over here? probably. Or? Yeah, base. I think. Okay. <laughs> Which end is the base? I think here. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. this, the okay. tip, tip is out little, here. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the smaller screen, it's not quite a little. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's what I thought might happen. Nice. <laughs> that's not too bad. Yeah. Okay, no, it's just, you got, okay. You got a couple. 
This one looks to look go how curly that one is. Yeah. Nice, Should Ben. We, they look like the... little noodles. Yeah. So what is the uh, growth you, rate of the these two worms? Oh, that's a really good question, Amanda. There we go. There are two worms in the Gulf, Gulf of Mexico of the same genus, different species, that are dated to 100, oh, and 100, over 100 years. Uh huh. Wow. That the plume is... source should be about 10 meters away. Not right there. Oh. Oh, if I'm looking at this correctly, there's like yeah. a little fissure yeah. right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, there's, uh, yeah. Uh, Jacob, you're right. You can see the those little weak plume move, sources uh, there. Yeah, yeah. This might be the best we can get a shot of. It looks like a lot of this slope too is like, yeah, freshly oh, uh, erupted material too. It's very black and uh -huh. doesn't have a whole lot of sediment on it. Oh, there's a more vigorous yeah. plume in the background. Yeah, coming for us here. Yeah. <laughs> I can't quite get in there. That's Herc's tail. Yeah, <laughs> touching. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's not big enough. So the, Need a bigger volcano. That's <laughs> the... We're looking towards this... Towards the center of the big crater now. So that's where that big bloom is coming from. And, that, and it's pretty deep. As you can see, I'm not pretty... Into it. I can come back towards the... Uh, yeah, that's quite an image. <laughs> yeah, for anybody following the live stream, if you go to channel two, you can see that view from Atalanta to get some perspective on this plume. Smoke behind me, clear water in front of me. It's Herc at the end of its leash. 